As you may have known, Diablo 4's new class, Spiritborn, was a little bit busted. It seems like there's not one, but multiple bugs with the new class that are causing it to do obscene amounts of damage or have some obscenely, well, admittedly both fun, as well as extremely strong builds. Well, it looks like that is going to be bug fixed or solved or nerfed. I mean, I guess you could really use whatever terminology you want. So here's the lovely community manager, Adam Fletcher, saying that they had some hot fixes coming out related to crashes. The game was crashing a little bit more than common. Like I would get maybe three crashes during an eight hour play session. So enough to be annoying, not enough to really ruin the game, but enough to be annoying for sure. So they have a hot fix related to that. But during the statement, he also states that Spiritborn's evade cast animations that were employing in some specific builds is basically a bug. So effectively, if you hadn't seen it, it looks like this. Here's a Rax video just spamming it, but basically you spam evade and evade is throwing out your DPS and you can literally spam evade while you're in the middle of evade, so that's not intended. Now, what's interesting, it might actually have some relevancy to the previous build that we covered, the trillion damage one that everyone is talking about, is the reason that they're actually nerfing or bug fixing this build now. Now, he says the reason we're hitting this bug now is that it's currently impairing other players in their experience in game. We have mentioned before that if a build up ends impacting the experience of others, we may take changes immediately, and this is one of those instances. So. There's been a lot of crashes in the game. They have a hot fix to try to fix this. And also I am still crashing after the hot fix. So maybe the evade spam has to do with that. They say it's impacting other people. So FPS drops, server crashes, etc. This is something that actually happened with a sorcerer build back in the day. So more than likely it's a server issue. Now, the other build that is currently still being used, there's two really other builds that people are using. You got the Touch of Death one, which is like decent damage. Doesn't really seem to be a bug. It's just decent damage. I mean, 500 million, I've seen a billion hit with it, but I mean, nowhere near these trillions numbers. And then we have the one that I covered in the previous video. You have the barrier HP, double dipping, triple dipping, quad dipping, who knows how many times it's dipping, level of spam multiplier that's literally hitting for trillions and trillions and trillions at this point. And they don't mention it in their statement here. You can kind of take it in its context. The other build may not be impacting server issues or other players. So they're probably just gonna leave it as it is, I would assume. Also, there was a balance update that is happening. This is sort of a preview of patch notes. I scrolled through and read these. A lot of like quality of life changes. Nothing we have to go over in real detail here, but in the balance updates, the only changes are some balance updates for Sorcerer and like Mythic unique items. They actually don't mention the other builds at all. So they're probably just gonna let sort of the bugged and sort of damaged builds continue to run for a while. Suppose this isn't really that surprising considering Spiritborn's the new class. They probably don't want to like sell the expansion have Spiritborn be really good. Everyone starts running Spiritborn. Just now, you know, the, the normal people are just now starting to get their builds together. Us no life streamers have got the build together day one, but normal people are starting to actually get like, hey, I'm starting to feel strong and nerfed would probably feel bad. Speaking of feel batting though, if that's a word, there was one thing uh, in this season that didn't feel too good, which was that the Realm Walker was pretty slow. They're actually doing some increases in terms of like the base movement speed. The Realm Walker, people are like, man, it's like a really slow escort mission. So they're actually basically improving this in terms of how many mobs are spawning and how quickly move. They're just speeding up the event, which is nice. The Dark Citadel's reward for the Scrolls of Restorations is actually being increased as well as the four items that were disabled on the launch of the game, Azure Wrath, Frostborn, Aspect of the Agile, Wolf, and Shroud of False Death are now re-enabled. And this one's kind of cool. If you hit Paragon 300, you get a new mount trophy. So it's a new free cosmetic just for hitting 300 Paragon. And this is another change sort of towards D3. Numbers are being abbreviated. So 10,000 damage is now displayed as 10K damage. So I'm assuming 10 billion is B and trillion is T. So we are going that direction with it. This is probably for the best. It doesn't seem like these numbers are too far off what they're actually wanting in terms of numbers. People have cleared the pit 150, which is the maximum. I guess 150 is the max, not 200. At some point they removed it from 200 to 150. And of course I've never been anywhere near the max pit. So I wouldn't know, but uh, with 150, being cleared at this point, people are having to actually hit for like hundreds of trillions. They're like absolutely insane numbers to even clear that. So if that's the ceiling of the content, then yeah, you're probably going to have to abbreviate these numbers because it's completely unreadable mess as it stands. Speaking of kind of unreadable mess, some of the quality of life is pretty nice. Just like the crafting interface when you're trying to use runes to make something will actually show you what runes you need to use. So they're just doing some feedback related fixes and pretty much all of these on these lists are all of things that people are like, that's kind of annoying, fix that please. So they did. 
Mythic Uniques are actually giving the buff. Doombringer increases stats. Shattered Vow, basically triple of the HP. Grandfather, increase uh, of both stats as well as life. Shroud of uh, False Death, four times the life increase. All stats increased by about 50%. I mean, kind of a, across the board, even Harlequin's Crest, Shaco here, got double the life. So they're actually increasing the tankiness, basically, from the life portion of most of these Mythic Uniques, which I actually think is the right choice. Mythic Unique should be really, really strong. And, and there's sometimes I think, wow, I really wish I just had a, I just put a legendary aspect on instead, but I happen to need, you know, Terios for the resistance or something. So the fact that I ever like run into a situation where I kind of feel like, ah, I don't want to use this Mythic Unique kind of feels bad, so I like the buffs. And as is tradition, there's just about a million bug fixes here, fixing issues that are quite literally bugs throughout all of these. Also, today starts the new Twitch drop, so if you click the link down below and come by the live stream and watch for a little bit of time, you're gonna get yourself these two Twitch drops as well. These will be going, I believe, for like the next six days and they are free just for watching. I also wanna shout out one viewer in particular, TJ the Blind Gamer. My understanding was he was the first blind man to beat the campaign all the way through on penitent difficulty. So uh, hopefully that's correct and he's the first one, but if he is, shout out to him, that's impressive. Now, I would assume we will eventually see bug fixes uh, for like these double dipping trillion damage type of mechanics with Spiritborn. However, I think they're going to let it ride for a little period of time, both because it's a new expansion uh, and they probably don't want to nerf the class that people just purchased. And even though it is technically a bug fix, people are going to feel like it's a nerf the same way that I felt like it was a nerf every time my druid had uh, a thing that made them go from somewhat playable to dog shit again was because of bug fixes. So I can understand why they're probably gonna let that one continue to go. Speaking of bugs, there's a little bit of like misinformation that's going around right now related to one bug. You might have yourself some legendary aspects that are not maxed out. And you're like, man, I've been playing the game for like 50 hours and I don't have this legendary aspect fully maxed out. Like I don't have my touch of death one maxed out. And then you might've saw some posts like on Reddit, for instance, where you look at here and it's like, don't salvage the ancestral gear. If you salvage it, you won't get the max row aspect in the codex because the ancestros can have it higher, but it's queued to the lower. Basically what they're saying is it's bugged and this is the reason this is happening. And this has been repeated a lot. I'm even seeing people that have like said this in my stream, for instance, because they got this information here from Reddit or forums or wherever. But Blizzard themselves actually chimed in here and said, this is actually confirmed not bugged. It's just rarer to get the affect. So you feel like you're not getting them, but it's actually not bugged. There's also a gentleman on the subreddit himself who literally posts video footage of him crunching a legendary Ancestro in order to max it out. So as it stands right now, this is confirmed, not bugged. So you don't have to worry about this if you've been hearing this. The TLDR is, yeah, some aspects are going to take a while to max out because you have to get lucky, get a greater affix with the max row of that aspect in order to max out, it's just rarer. But I mean, even with all of that, there's still some debate about it. People here, there's a Twitter post about this. He's saying, hey, it's a misreport. And then there's people saying like, no, nah, like it's definitely bugged. Like I think it's actually, you know, it's, it's not a misreport, it is a bug. I mean, this conversation is still going on. Now the patch that we we're talking about earlier is actually gonna be dropping later this week. It's available for viewing. And I'll put the patch note link down below in case you're interested in looking at all of the changes for yourself. It's just a whole bunch of bug fixes plus the stuff I highlighted basically, but it's gonna be landing later this week. But in the meantime, if you want, you can farm your Twitch drops and uh, I will be live for those as well. So you can come get yourself this one right here, your helmet and your ax. Thanks for watching. Love you all. See you on the next video.